Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're gonna to take you through the full Serta Perfect Sleeper collection of mattresses. This is a collection that's been around a long time, but it has been completely redesigned here in 2023. We're excited to show it to you. Stick around. All right, so there's a couple things I think you ought to know just right up front about Serta Perfect Sleeper. Number one, with this collection, Serta is really principally focused on delivering as much value as they can to the consumer by bringing as many uh, features as they can to lower, more accessible price points, including some price points that are well below $1,000. Number two is that in total, there are 16 models in this current iteration of the Serta Perfect Sleeper line. And there are actually some features that are held in common across all 16 of those models. Firstly, all 16 of them feature a pocketed spring support unit. So that's something unique. Uh, there's no connected coils, uh, no all foam mattresses. They're all, uh, for the support unit, they're all featuring pocket springs. Number two is that all of them have at least some sort of feature that allows them to offer extra support in the center third of the mattress, which is the area that supports our hips which is for all of us, the heaviest part of our bodies. Now, they accomplish that in different ways with different models. However, that feature, that principle is true and present across all 16 of the models in the current Perfect Sleeper lineup. And the third thing I'll note is that they really try to bring a gel memory foam to as many of these models as possible. So almost all of the models in this current lineup feature some gel memory foam as well. Now, I mentioned that there are 16 models within this new lineup of Serta Perfect Sleepers. Those are kind of divided into four, think of them as collections, three uh, little mini collections of quilted mattresses and then one collection of smooth hybrid mattresses like the one I'm on right now. And you're gonna see these uh, having different names, names like Adoring Night and Blue Lagoon Nights and Cobalt Calm. And that's what we're gonna take you through in the rest of this video is showing you what specifically you're gonna find under those types of model names in those mini collections as you move through the new Serta Perfect Sleeper lineup. All right, so let's start out at the entry level of this new Perfect Sleeper lineup, which you might think of as the promotional part of the collection because when a store wants to promote mattresses that are attractively priced, they're gonna be promoting these mattresses or ones like them because these are the most attractively priced mattresses in this collection. And they're gonna be priced well below $1,000 in a queen size. And by the way, I should note that there's three choices at this level. You've got a firm, a plush, and a plush Euro top. And you may see these under the name Adoring Knight, although some retailers may use a different name for these models. And what you're getting at this level is a lot of features actually for this price point. Uh, let's start with the fact that they're all going to have, as I mentioned previously, a, pro a pocketed spring support unit. In this case, it's gonna be a, a pocketed spring support unit with an 825 coil density, which basically means that this is how manufacturers count these things. How many coils would there be in a queen size if the coils went edge to edge in the mattress? That would be 825. However, in this case, they don't go edge to edge because another feature of all these mattresses is they have a four inch rail uh, of firmer foam going around the entire perimeter of the mattress in order to give them a stronger edge. And I will say that for mattresses at this price point, these have pretty good edge support. Um, the other thing I'll note about that coil unit uh, is that it, it does add quite a bit of bounce to these mattresses. So these have well above average amount of bounce. And in general, just something you should know about pocket springs is that they're just inherently better than other types of coils for motion isolation because they move independently. So uh, you're not gonna be as disturbed uh, by your partner's movements and vice versa. They're also adjustable base compatible. So for those of you who are looking to use this mattress on an adjustable base, that's one of the things that generally you're afforded the opportunity to, to do with a pocket spring support unit. And then the last thing I, I will note about pocket springs in general is that they tend to be a little bit more conforming, again, because of the fact that they move independently from one another. So that can be better for side sleepers, for example, who need their mattress to conform a little bit more to their body's curves. And of course, all those benefits of pocket springs are gonna be available throughout the Perfect Sleeper lineup because pocket springs are the support method used throughout this entire lineup. Now beyond that, as I mentioned, all the mattresses in the new Perfect Sleeper lineup have some form of additional support under, in the center third of the mattress underneath your hips. And in the case of the, these three Adoring Night models, that is coming in the form of a gel band, essentially uh, a band of additional material, about 3 8 inch of gel foam 
that's running only in the center third of the mattress. So you just have a little bit more material there essentially to, to kind of prop you up, prop up that heaviest part of your body, make sure it doesn't sink too far into the mattress. Now, above all that, in this Adoring Nights lineup, one of the principal comfort materials you're going to find is what they call Pillow Soft Air. This is a name that Serta gave to a particular type of foam that happens to be a very soft foam with a convoluted shape. I'm not sure if you know what convoluted is. Think of it as egg crate shaped, almost like the foam you'd see on the side of a wall in a sound studio. Um, so that type of foam is going to be present in all three of these mattresses and it's going to add quite a bit of softness, particularly in the plush version and the plush Eurotop. In terms of those softness levels, we would classify the firm model as a medium firm on our softness spectrum. The plush would be a medium soft and the plush Eurotop would be a soft on our softness spectrums. And then the last uh, common characteristic I would add, and actually I could have mentioned this up front as a common characteristic across all of these uh, sort of perfect sleepers is that the cover here does have some antimicrobial properties just to help keep your mattress clean over time. All right, so now we've stepped up to what you might think of as the next mini collection within this new Perfect Sleeper lineup. These are models that you might see under the name Blue Lagoon Nights something. Uh, there are four models within this part of the collection, a firm, a medium, a plush, and a plush pillow top. And essentially these are going to use the same pocketed spring support unit that we showed you in the previous level. Um, and that's that same 825 coil density, that same uh, edge support foam perimeter, uh, and that same gel band in the center third of the mattress to give you that extra support. What you're getting for the kind of additional cost, which in general is gonna be a couple hundred dollars or so more than what you had at the previous adoring night level, uh, is a really four things. Number one, you're gonna get a full sheet of gel memory foam in each of these mattresses, usually about a half an inch or so of gel memory foam in each of these Blue Lagoon Nights mattresses. Number two, you're going to get um, something that they call Cool Feel, which is essentially a phase change material that's been applied to the cover fabric. And phase change material, for those of you who don't know, is a cooling feature. And essentially what the way it works is it's microscopic beads filled with wax that that wax, when receives heat from your body, will melt and change phases from a solid to a liquid. And as it does that, as it's pulling heat from your body, it creates a cooling sensation. That act of actually pulling heat away from you is what makes something feel cool to the touch. So essentially this, um, application of phase change material to the cover, which is again what they call cool feel, gives these mattresses a bit of coolness to the touch. And that also, by the way, is why you'll see one snowflake on these mattresses on the foot of it, it's just to signify that feature. And in fact, you'll see that across the rest of the lineup as we continue to move on up in this Perfect Sleeper lineup. And the third thing you'll get, in addition to kind of the aesthetic differences, which maybe you can already see relative to what, we were, what I was on before, uh, you'll also see that some functional differences in the exterior of the mattress, such as these handles. So two handles on each side of the mattress that are functional and designed to actually help you pick the mattress up and maneuver it as needed. And the last thing is that there's also an antimicrobial treatment applied to the fibers in the quilt layer right underneath the cover of the mattress, which is just a feature that is designed to help you keep your mattress clean over time. And then I guess one other thing I should mention is that these mattresses are generally gonna be a little higher profile, meaning a little taller than what I showed you previously. In general, the Blue Lagoon Nights mattresses are gonna be somewhere in that 12 to 14 inch uh, profile height. So you get a little bit more uh, of a robust build there as well for this step up. Now in terms of the feels of these four Blue Lagoon Nights mattresses, our assessments actually line up quite well with the names on these mattresses. So the firm, we would classify as a firm on our softness spectrum as well, albeit towards the firmer end of that classification. The Medium we would classify as a medium, albeit towards the softer end of that classification. And the plush and the plush pillow top, we would both classify as softs on our soft spectrum. And in terms of other feel characteristics, uh, I'll, I'll just touch on memory feel because there is a little bit of memory foam. You're not gonna get a whole lot. There's not enough memory foam in these mattresses that you're gonna feel a lot of that melting sensation. So if that's not something that you're into, I think you're gonna be fine on any of these mattresses. Uh, and as far as bounce goes, I mentioned these use the same coil unit as the previous mattresses that we showed you, and they're gonna be similarly peppy and lively in the sense of uh, 
that the bounce that that pocket spring support unit provides. All right, so now we've moved up another mini collection to what you can think of as the top of the line within the quilted portion of the new Perfect Sleeper lineup. Uh, these are mattresses that you might see under the name Cobalt Calm. And the pricing on these is gonna be generally a couple hundred dollars more, again, than where we left off with the Blue Lagoon Nights mattresses, although it will vary by model. And at this level, you're generally gonna get all the same features and benefits that we've already shown you in the previous portion of the line, but then there's gonna be a couple of additional key features that you're going to get as well. Number one is that the spring unit is going to be a little bit different. Specifically, it's going to be a zoned coil unit. So it's actually gonna have a little bit higher coil density. It's gonna be 850 coil density instead of 825. But more significantly than that, the center third, the coils in the center third of the mattress are now going to actually be a little bit more supportive, a little firmer coils. If you're interested in wonky details, these will be 14 and 3 quarter gauge coils instead of 15 and a half gauge coils. So that's just going to give them a little bit more firmness and it's going to be a different way of achieving that objective of supporting the heaviest part of your body, which is again for all of us, your hips. So that's going to be present now in all of these cobalt mattresses. Uh, the second key distinction that you're going to get really throughout this cobalt portion of the line is a little bit more of that same gel memory foam that was introduced in the uh, Blue Lagoon Nights level. And I didn't mention the name of it then, but it's called Cool Twist Gel Memory Foam. And so now at this level, you're gonna get generally one to two inches of that Cool Twist Gel Memory Foam, depending on what model you're talking about. Now there's one exception, which is at the very top end of this Cobalt Calm portion of the line, there is a plush pillow top model that's probably gonna be priced a little higher than the other Cobalt Calm mattresses. And that's because it not only has two inches of that Cool Twist Gel Memory Foam, it also has another another inch and a half of an even higher density memory foam that is called Deep Reaction. So that model will have three and a half inches of total memory foam and that's why it's going to be priced a little bit higher than the others. Now in terms of the specific models within this portion of the lineup and their respective feels, there's actually five at this level. Uh, there's an extra firm, a plush, a firm pillow top, a medium pillow top, and a plush pillow top. Now the extra firm is one that I kind of want to call out specifically because First of all, we would classify it as an extra firm on our softness spectrum, and there aren't many mattresses out there that we would put into that classification, and definitely not many at this price point. So that is certainly one that I think I definitely want to call out for those people. It's, uh, you know, you know who you are. If you want a mattress that is really firm, this is one of the few we've seen, and again, certainly one of the few we've ever seen at this price point. Now moving through the rest, the plush we would actually classify as a medium on our softness spectrum. The firm pillow top we would actually classify as a firm, albeit towards kind of the softer end of that firm classification. The medium pillow top we would classify as a medium, and the plush pillow top we would classify as a soft, again, probably towards the softer end of that soft classification. Um, in terms of memory feel, while there is, again, one to two inches of that cool twist gel memory foam now across this portion of the line. Overall, it's still not quite enough where you're gonna get a lot of that slow melting sensation. So if you're, again, if you're someone who is not interested in that, don't be scared off by these models. The one exception there would be the plush pillow top that I'm on right now. This one does have a noticeable amount of that uh, slink, sinking into the bed, kind of that slow, gentle melting into the bed sensation that you can, that you can get on a memory foam mattress. Because again, this is the one that has three and a half inches of total memory foam. So you definitely notice it more on this one. Likewise, in terms of uh, cushioning depth, I would say like this one in particular is gonna have the most uh, of that hugged or cradled sensation and the most conformance. So if you're somebody who uh, is particularly curvy and you're concerned about having a mattress that can accommodate and conform to your curves while sleeping on your side in particular in order to hold your spine in proper alignment while doing that, this one's probably gonna be the most well suited for you because it offers the most conformance amongst these Cobalt Calm mattresses. In terms of bounce, I would say that in general, all these Cobalt Calm mattresses are gonna offer a fair bit of bounce, although the more cushioning there is on top of them, the, the more that bounce gets a little bit muted by that cushioning. So the ones that are firmer with less cushioning or, or the non-pillow tops are gonna have generally a little bit more bouncy overall experience than the pillow tops and the plusher ones. And the last thing I'll note here is just as it relates to edge support, I'd say the edge support at this level of the overall lineup continues to be really strong, at least 
where the edge support lives in the mattress, which is of course down at that support layer of the mattress. So what that means is the more padding that lives on top of that level of the mattress, such as in these pillow tops, the less of a really strong, firm edge you're gonna end up with. So it's still good uh, with regards to the pillow tops, but not maybe as good of edge as you're gonna find on the tight tops, as particularly the firmer ones like that extra firm one that I talked about earlier. All right, so now we've moved over to the final collection within this Perfect Sleeper lineup. And this is really a distinct collection. It's called the Smooth Hybrid Collection. And you can see here the fundamental difference, which is that these are not quilted mattresses. They feature a smooth top with a stretch cover. And then you're gonna have, with the difference just in general with the smooth top type of design, is that you're gonna have those premium comfort foams right beneath that cover without any quilt layers in between you and those premium comfort foams. So you're gonna, in general, get to experience them a little bit more closely and, and take advantage more so of their pressure relieving benefits. And the stretch cover is gonna allow for a little bit more conformance to your curves than you're gonna get with a quilted cover that just doesn't inherently have as much ability to stretch and conform. Now I should note that although those things I just mentioned certainly are benefits, there are also corresponding benefits on quilted designs. For example, a lot of people really like that pillowy softness at the top of their mattress that you get with that more traditional quilted design. They like that feeling of maybe being a little bit more nestled by that type of uh, cushioning. So, while, uh, while there are certain advantages to each, overall I would classify the difference between quilted design and smooth top design as much more of a personal preference type of choice. Now in terms of the design of these smooth top hybrids, they're going to use the same coil system that we just showed you on that previous collection, that Cobalt Calm collection. It's going to be that zoned 850 coil density uh, pocket spring unit with, again, a four inch uh, foam perimeter for edge support. And by the way, I'm not sure I mentioned that with regards to the Cobalt Calms, but it certainly is present on those as well. So that part of the mattress is going to be the same. We talked about the difference in the cover, although uh, one thing I should point out that is the same is that you are still going to get that PCM, what they call cool feel, uh, applied to the cover material here, even though it's not a quilted cover, it's a smooth top cover, still gonna get that same cooling benefit from the PCM. And the last feature that all of these smooth top hybrids are going to have in common is that they're all going to use some of that same cool twist gel memory foam that we talked about in the quilted collections. Uh, in this case, they're going to use one inch of that and it's always going to be the very top layer of the mattress right beneath this cover. So you're gonna experience it most closely to your body. Now within this smooth hybrid portion of the lineup, there's gonna be two levels. You might see the first level called Dazzling Night and the second level called Euphoric Nights. And these levels are gonna differ in price by a few hundred dollars and they're gonna differ in profile height by two inches. There's gonna be a 12 inch at the Dazzling Night and a 14 inch for the Euphoric Nights. Um, and basically the key difference there, they're gonna use the same amount of gel memory foam, that, that cool twist gel memory foam that I just talked about, but what you're gonna get on the 14 inch models is just a little bit more comfort foams, and obviously you're gonna get that higher profile uh, as well. So in terms of the models that are gonna be available and the different feels, the Dazzling Nights has two options, a firm and a medium, and then the Euphoric Nights also has two options, which is a firm and a plush. We would classify both of the firms, the Dazzling Knight firm and the Euphoric Knights firm, as a medium firm on our softness spectrum. However, the Dazzling Knight firm would be just a smidge firmer, sort of towards the firm end of that medium firm classification. With the regards to the other two, we would classify the Dazzling Knight medium as a medium on our softness spectrum. And likewise, the Euphoric Knights plush, we'd also classify as a medium on our softness spectrum, albeit in that case, more towards the soft end of that medium classification, making it the softest in this four mattress lineup. In terms of cushioning depth, which is the difference between sleeping in your mattress and sleeping on your mattress, one thing I'd point out about the smooth hybrid design is, it, is that it's going to allow the mattress to conform a little bit more closely to your body, which for any given amount of sinkage and conformance is going to make you feel a little bit more like that hugged or cradled sensation versus that floating above your mattress sensation. Uh, in terms of how much actual sinkage and conformance you're getting, generally speaking, you're gonna get more on the medium than you do on the firms, and then again, a little bit more on the plush than you do on the medium. In terms of memory feel, I would say that while these all have the same amount of memory foam in them, 
for whatever reason, I felt a little bit more memory feel, like in terms of that delayed responsiveness on the medium uh, than I did on the firm in the Dazzling Night level. And again, in the Euphoric Nights level, I actually felt uh, the most amount of that delayed responsive kind of melting sensation on the plush relative to any of the other four. So certainly more than I did on the, Dazzle, the Euphoric Nights firm. And lastly, in terms of bounce, uh, again, this is a pretty peppy coil unit that is being used here. So overall, these are gonna be pretty lively and pretty responsive. Um, maybe the Euphoric Nights, because of the fact that they have a little bit more foam on top of the coils, are gonna have not quite as much bounce as the 12-inch uh, Dazzling Night mattresses. But nonetheless, I would say that all four of these smooth hybrid mattresses are gonna have an above average amount of overall bounce. So there you have it. I hope you found this to be a helpful overview of this brand new lineup of perfect sleeper mattresses from Serta. For more helpful information about how to find the right mattress for you, go to goodbed.com. In the meantime, we thank you for watching and I really hope you sleep well.